Hey, uh, everyone. So I just got back from, um, I just took the Security Plus, the SYO 501, and I passed it. So, yeah, I'm celebrating with this and a cheap cigar and some brewski. But um, uh, I didn't see a lot of videos on YouTube for the SYO 501. Um, I didn't see any of it, in fact. I think it's because it's so new. But um, So I just wanted to uh, relay my experiences with it. Um, Quick, briefly, so I'm, you know, I've been in IT for a long time, um, but primarily, like, on the web side of things, mostly as a web developer, um, so it's sort of a, this is sort of a new area for me, um, but, uh, so I studied the, um, the, the Daryl Gibson book, which, uh, on Kindle, but, um, this one, you can see it, um, and, uh, that was what I, Used primarily, I um, I took his advice basically, and who you know he said to schedule the, the exam within forty five days of uh, once you start studying, if you can. Um, and so I I think I got it in mid November. So yeah, I'm right right about on on schedule with that. Um, uh, I would say uh, that the test was really really hard. <laughs> It was, I think it was, I mean, I think it was probably the hardest test I've ever taken, and so I can't even imagine what the, um, the CISSP test is like, or, or some of these other, um, certifications are like, but this one was really, really, really hard. Um, I, I mean, I was convinced, uh, for the majority of the time, uh, for the, in fact, the entire time I was convinced I was failing it. I, I'm shocked that I passed it, but, uh, I barely squeaked by and passed, um, my experience, the thing, a couple of takeaways were, uh, and I think there's lots of different versions of the exam, so, um, so I, I, you know, take this with a grain of salt, but, like, I studied my ass off on ports, uh, memorizing ports, and uh, studied up RAID, I know it's not a lot to study, but I, I really made sure to understand both of those things, and I did not get a single question about RAID, and I got zero questions about ports, there was not, not one, um, which was... It's great. I mean, I'm glad I know like I know like ten thousand ports um, numbers and and understand how they work, which is I guess is kind of the point of the whole thing. But yeah, I was a little bit surprised by that. Um, the whole the entire exam felt like, um, like, uh, like you couldn't study for it. Like it was just that hard. The performance questions were really hard. Um, I unfortunately I don't have the results yet back that like tell me exactly. I think you have to wait a few days. To go in and get the cert to find out exactly what you you know what questions you answered and which ones you didn't and the, your strong areas or whatever, but um, uh, so the way I, I the the way I study for this is like I said I read the the Daryl Gibson the SYO five hundred one guide on Kindle, um, and my method was to um, to basically go th go through each chapter and anytime he said um, to remember this. Or whatever I I highlighted it and kept it I did it on Kindle like I said um, and uh, uh, so basically I like I you can you can create these little like um, I don't even know what they call these like just little like sticky note kind of things and what I would do is I would I would read the chapter highlight what he recommended to highlight and then from there um, once I was done with the chapter I took it to like old school paper and pen. And this is my stack of, um, of flashcards that I used. Um, you can see there's like a shit ton of these things. But um, so every time I was done with a chapter, I would take notes on that specific chapter. Or I would, the, the notes that he recommended, things that he recommended that you remember, I took and I put down um, onto these index cards. Um, I, so I had, at the end, I, have, I don't know how many, this, hundreds of these things. I studied all of these. Um, I signed up for the the cert master so that I could get the uh, the second exam if I needed it. Um, I'm shocked that I don't, uh, but I guess I have no anyway. Um, so that has a bunch of sample questions on there, and I've seen people talking about um, that those that you should just stick with the Daryl Gibson book and he'll get you through, and don't bother with the cert master questions. And and um, I think that's completely BS. I think you should any any test question or tests that you can take to practice for this, I think I would recommend you do. Um, because there were, you know, there were a few questions that seemed to correlate directly with the Daryl Gibson um, the test exams. Oh, and by the way, I also, I signed up, I paid the $30, I think, to do the, 
Daryl Gibson to do his extra content. So he's got, um, it's basically, it's the, primarily it's the, um, it's the quizzes and the, 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 the tests, the, the sample tests he's got on his book on Kindle and on the, I guess on the hard copy version too. So, but it's just like a digital version of that plus some extra stuff, but I signed up for that. It's cool. It's a lot easier to keep track of your answers and how you're doing. There's leaderboard and stuff like that. So it's cool. But um, I recommend uh, doing that, um, doing the, the sample tests over and over again, the quizzes. And then the Cert Master stuff was as foreign as it was. Like looking at it, I was thinking, oh my God, like I didn't, I don't know any of this stuff. That's exactly how the test felt, taking it. So um, the more you can prepare with stuff that seems out of left field and doesn't make any sense or doesn't seem to be what you've studied. Uh, I think the better off you are. Um, but yeah, and I just, you know, scoured Google for, like, sample questions and things here and there. But, like, that was really the, the takeaway is that, like, it seemed like nothing could prepare for you, prepare you for it, which is, like, this is what they're going to... I guess this is what it's all about, but <laughs> the thing that's going to prepare you for it is to know your shit. So you really have to understand how it, it, how, how it all works. And, um, and I guess that's the point of it. So <clears throat> anyway, that was my experience. Um... I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I passed, and I'm um, and I'm shocked, and but thrilled. And so, uh, upwards and onwards I go. And um, I hope this helps anyone. Uh, okay, bye, guys.